Hey guys, what is up? And welcome to the premiere episode of the series that I like to call Let's Flip This Crib. And here we have a house that I built before, I think, TU9, or during TU9, TU10 era. And obviously that's really out of date. And it's a house that I wanted the tour for the longest. And I came up, or we had this old series idea that I'm reinventing, where the concept is we take an old house that's out of date, but was good at, during its prime, and we go to remodel it, and we go to show it off afterwards. So, as I fly around the house, you get to see what I used to build like, I think, about six months ago now. And when this house is done, it will look completely different and much better. I'm not going to make any alterations to the back yet. I mean, I am going to make alterations to the backyard, but I'm not going to expand it or contract it. The house is going to stay the same exact size. I'm just going to alter everything. So when this is as good as done, it's going to look a lot like recent houses I've toured, such as Mangled Manor. So you should look forward to that. And I don't think it'd be fair to show you guys just the exterior. So I'm going to do a flyby of the interior. And as we fly through, as we come in here, you just see what all the rooms look like. And as you take these things in, just take note of what they look like, because... Once this is done, it's going to be a completely different house. And I'm also going to convert it to the natural texture pack, which I know would make it look better automatically in most cases. But I don't like building outside of the natural texture pack. And I don't think it'd be fair for it not to be in the natural texture pack, since that's what you guys are used to seeing on the channel. The purposes of this being in default is just for the series. But, yeah, everything in here is going to be changed. And I don't think I'm going to be keeping a single thing in this house. I mean, there are so many things that I need to rip apart and change. It's disgusting. But you guys get a pretty good view of what I used to think was good and what we used to think was good. Because at the time, this was probably one of my better houses. Obviously now it's severely out of date and needs a lot of work, but hey, that's what happens over time. Even houses such as Any's Lobby will be out of date eventually. And just a few more rooms in the house and what's going to be probably five or six hours of work for me will be a quick jump cut for you guys to the completed product and tour of this house when I am done. So once I'm done going through here, I'm going to cut to black and I'll see you guys in a single individual moment. <laughs> guys, and here's what the house looks like now. So why don't me just do a quick fly around of what it looks like. And this house took me so long to finish, and I rushed it so much, and I have a test tomorrow, and I had to balance out studying as well. So I was up until about 5 in the morning working on this, and then I didn't finish, so I had to get up and work on the house for another 2 hours as well. So that was fantastic. But it's done, and it looks pretty good. As you can see. And let's go inside and tour this mofo. So first off, we just kind of have the mowed lawn with the tree. It's very nice. We have the waterfall coming down like not before, except I made it one big one going down the center. We have a little garden in front. If we go inside, there's this nice open mud room where you would like put your shoes and stuff. These are supposed to be coat racks right here. And then you just have your kind of shelving and stuff. And if you go on the right, it's the first guest bedroom of the house. Just it's pretty simple. Just a nice bed and a closet space with an overhang above it. And if we continue to the left side of the house, we have this huge open living room with a piano and a reading area where you can look through the waterfall, which I think is very nice. Then we have the X Lab 720, 
and a nice TV here, as well as book, some books. And this room right here is the garage. And this is like a nice, a cool workbench that's functional. Your crafting section, your how-tos, painting, and we're gonna go into this room right here because this is the kitchen, and it you know it has your island area for cooking. You also have a stove and some refrigerators which open, coffee maker, some sinks for washing the dishes, and if you look outside you can see the water area with the lifeboat. And this style of house that I'm going for is just a really open interior, modern, and you just want to feel like you have a lot of room but it's still filled up. And this is the dining room. We have some shelving and a painting. And I kept the same dining table, except I made stone slab around it. And there's just some paintings around here and a modern carpet. And I like the open feeling. And to the interior one because it's less work and two because it works pretty well and I kept this this um what's it called those wine canister things that you would see in a wine cellar and this is supposed to be a bar area with your drinks and you have your wine shelves and a trash can a nice wood beam and most of these are very simple carpet designs like the ceiling and the carpet are the same color because I wanted to go with like a more traditional style house instead of having different colors for every floor upstairs. That and the house's design wouldn't cater to what I wanted to do. And as we go upstairs, we have the game room right here. And this has a nice pool table, your pool cues, some places to keep your pool balls, the pin ball tables that are fully functional. This is where you would keep your scores. We have this pretty cool painting with some item frames to make it look nice. And this room right here is the master bedroom. We have an awesome painting of Donkey Kong. I'm pretty sure that little blubs right there is Mario. That's Peach. That's a mushroom, apparently. And we have one of the two decks in the house right here with an overview of what would be there if I had ever built in this area. The water bed. Some dead skulls hanging over the bed. The whole office area with a nice printer and some music and if we go around here there's just a closet with a nice dresser and we have some place that you would keep your clothes as well you have the overhang that overlooks the guest bedroom there are a few overhangs in this house because of how the window design worked out that's the game room and this is just like kind of a hallway slash living room it leads out to ooh, one of the decks same just as the last one and if we go back inside we have another computer area office area with a printer and a computer another big TV but this one doesn't have the xlab 720 this is another guest bedroom it has a nice TV and some books and it has a book with a reading area or you can play chess or checkers with your friends even some cards then we have the bed itself here and this is the other overhang in the house. And this looks over the bar area, which I like a lot. And my least favorite room in the house, and the last room in the house, is the bathroom. Because of how this house is designed, I couldn't make like a shower or a really nice bathroom. So we just kind of have this open bathroom with a tub and a mirror and your toilet with the book and the sink with the soap dispenser or bar of soap, whichever you prefer. And a painting could probably go there. Just like really quick, I'll show you what I mean. There you go. See, the bathroom looks nicer now. <laughs> Let me delete that really quickly from my inventory. And then we have this hallway with a few paintings and some plants that leads out to the other deck of the house, and this overlooks the backyard, which I say we check out right now. And you would have to go back downstairs and go through the dining room to get to the backyard. But ain't nobody got time for that. So right here we have the grill area. My grill design with the um, iron going over it to make it look like it's enclosed. This is where you keep your food. That's the grill. It's a cookbook. We have a nice garden here. There's a volleyball court. R ready? Then we have the pool area with some 
umbrellas and lounge chairs and you can swim in the pool it's all really nice and that's the gist of this series guys basically I go through the old house really quickly and then I do a more in-depth tour of the newer house with newer features and as always comments tell me what you think of the series idea uh, tell me what you think of both of the houses what you did and didn't like about them um, like the video if you enjoyed favorite it obviously Subscribe if you're new for more content. This is Drubbing Baby signing.